so guys you can clearly see that this is the heightened machine we are going today we are going to know about the plc of heightened machine heightened machine today is very common machine uh, they are used in india so we have to know about the basics of this plc so today i'm here with the video of item machine plc previously i have told you the plc of toshiba and supermaster machine so today we are going to learn about the plc of this heightened machine so these there are several keys which i have already told you in uh, basically they are in each of the plc's of injection molding machine like f1 f2 f3 f4 to f10 these are all known as function keys function keys or you may say that these are the shortcut keys now these are the numbers 1 2 9 and along with 0 so these are used to set up for these particular settings now these are the arrows for up down ok button cancel for cancelling option this is for semi auto semi auto function this is for fully auto function this is hand mode and now this is the mold open mold close ejector back ejector retract ejector forward air ejector blower for uh, blowing up air ejector these all are for core in core out core a in core a out core b in core b out core b out these all are the basic keys now this is for tonnage adjustment auto tonnage and uh, these all are for positive and negative tonnages this is for lubrication oil this is for injection this is for charging screw retract barrel forward and complete barrel backward injection unit forward or injection unit backward this is for heaters heating on will be heating on is being blinking motor on the rotation will be shown inside the motor inside the image of motor and this is the safety key or switch on switch off key or emergency key we can call all these names to them now let's see some basic functions which are inside the machine this is the main screen or we may say that home page it's consist of temperature temperatures all the temperatures will be shown above the machine area that is being inside the screen the temperature pressure what is the current function that the machine is performing that will be shown on the home page now you can see that uh, f1 is for viewing the home page what is being happening now f2 for clamping f1 is for viewing this uh, main page that is being already there you can see that if if you will press the f1 then this main home page will be there on your P main screen of injection molding plc of this hathian now these are the temperature setting you can identify all those the temperatures what the temperature are running and uh, which function is presently running that will be shown in this you can see that the rpm is being increasing or decreasing according to the scenario of now f2 for clamping now we will move to the clamping page i have pressed the key f2 and you can see that how much the opening stroke i have set in position pressure speed for each zones first second third low pressure high pressure everything is mentioned here later on while i will tell you each and every single setting then you you will basically get the clear idea of what are all those things mean now mold open position pressure speed how the mold is opening uh, on the first phase on the second phase on the third phase what is the pressure and what is the speed all these things you can clearly see here and you can change the, also you can change the setting from directly from here according to the mold 
now here the cycle time cycle time is running actual cycle time what is this clamp position what what is the clamp present clamp position everything you you will get here so what are the sensors sensors working closing time how much more opening how much mold is opening all these things we we are going to know from here so this is the one of the most important page so guys this was the clamping page now f3 for function f3 have some functions like cycle delay close fast open link these all are for mold settings this comes under the category of clamping page these all f3 f4 f5 presently they all come under the category of f2 for the clamping page these setting all these settings will be on the basis of mold so some basic options like mold closing fast open link and cycle delay all these things you can set from here now i will press f4 for another function that is empty we don't have any setting over there we don't have a single option now we'll move back and now f3 for injection page now i'm going to press f3 so you can see that i'm pressing f3 button now i have pressed f3 now what we you can clearly see that the position the injection position pressure injection pressure speed all the injection speed according to their position pressure position time all these things you can get directly from here what are the cycle time actual time injection position sensor transaction position injection and all these things you can get here now i'm moving back now f4 for charging c h a g is mentioned here that means charging page now i'm going to press that button f4 i have pressed the f4 now you can see that all the things related to the charging came here charging position how much material you uh, you are taking with by the means of position pressure speed and back pressure what is the back pressure you are giving to your screw so this is the setting of all this suck back mode uh, what is the mode of your suck suck back actual mode after charging or before charging you want to after charging or after injection which one you want to give you can give from here now move back and uh, next f5 for ejector e j e t means ejector city here we are going to get ejector forward ejector board all these settings now i have pressed the f5 you can see that here it is mentioned ejector forward the a product is being coming out that means ejector forward position pressure speed and delay time all these things we are going to give from this setting and another right side it is ejector backward so same setting position pressure time and delay time all these things you can just change or you can just give this complete setting from here this is the arrow up, up and down you can move now you can see that ejector mode is in the pose in the no use mode that means i am not using that the ejector because this product is not being of formed by a stripper plate so that i don't need an ejector so we can click to the arrow and we can i have just used it no use now i'm going to move back 
नेक्स्ट ऑप्शन इज एफ सिक्स फॉर कोर अब सर प्रेस द एफ सिक्स बटन एंड नाउ द कोर पेज हैज बीन इन द फ्रंट ऑफ स्क्रीन नाउ स्टिल आई डोंट आई एम नॉट यूजिंग द कोर बिकॉज माई मोल्ड डजेंट इंक्लूड्स द कोर मोस्ट प्रोबेबली यू वी कैन नो अबाउट द सेटिंग्स ऑफ द कोर दैट इज मोड ऑप्शन विच मोड यू वॉन्ट टू पुट फॉर योर कोर इन एंड कोर आउट प्रेशर स्पीड वॉट इज द एक्चुअल टाइम यू वॉन्ट टू गिव वॉट इज द स्क्रू काउंट यू वॉन्ट टू गिव एक्चुअल पोजिशन एक्चुअल पोजिशन एंड इंजेक्शन कोर ऑल दीज थिंग्स यू कैन गिव directly according to your product according to your the mold to after that you can give the complete setting to the core so this is this was the core page if you can give the complete core information from here this is the button for up and down where the option is in no use or use then you can click move the cursor there and you will when you will click this arrow button then you will get all the options i'm canceling all these let's move to another page now f10 for back it's very easy and very interesting machine now f7 for nozl nozzle so this is the position of nozzle at the position pressure speed everything is all about nozzle adjustment or nozzle setting let's nozzle position what is the position of nozzle what is the pressure what is the speed delay time time pressure everything is mentioned in this particular page you can see that each and every setting is there you you if you want to change the setting according to the product according to, you can directly change the setting by moving the cursor over the particular setting which you want to change so that's very easy now moving a step back i'm going to press f10 again now f8 for temperature to know about the temperature what the temperature is being running over the machine now i'm going to click the f8 button i have clicked the f8 so i get all the temperatures all the zones zone 1 zone 2 zone 3 zone 4 zone 5 what is the set value set value what we have set it what is the up deviation what is low deviation real pair real pair percentage and heating mode all these things is being in this page warming shocking time warming counting standby temperature all these things is being mentioned here now moving back and f9 is for fast setting if you want to set something fastly that means every each and every single setting will be on a single page all the settings will be on a single page on the on f9 if you want to make setting fast without going to each and every single page for particular setting you will get all the settings directly on one page you can see that each and every setting mold locking mold positioning in injection uh, back injection charging uh, temperature everything is being in a single page so that is f9 for fast fast take now moving back so guys this was our hatian plc so guys if you want to know all about the injection molding machine then please don't forget to subscribe our channel now let's see uh, one two or more page i have pressed the f10 f10 for next options next option pm alarm now we get all the alarm Uh, what are the alarms we are getting over the machine we can easily be notified or uh, we may easily can get all these alarms with the on the alarm page so it's very easy now monitor 1 at monitor 1 we will get some basic settings like closing mold mold processing holding pressure mold open injection and cycle time each and everything we will get on the 
monitor one of this particular page injection peak injection pressure each and every setting when you are be you are uh, learning you will learn each and everything in a single move for that uh, in a single video it's not possible to learn each and everything so this video is just to introduce you the basics of the machine and later on i will tell you each and every detail the things in a detailed view of a single single page so that you can learn each and everything now you can see that the product counter total cycle count what is the cycle time present running what is the injection time charging time injection strength holding strength cushion fetch time charging open everything is being mentioned here on monitor 2 f5 for monitor 3 let's press f5 button and see what happens i press the f5 button on the monitor 5 i'm going to get what is the total counting mold opening how much turning time turning pressure injection injection peak in charging charging peak maximum injection speed all these settings we are getting this now i'm going to press f6 and access we will get the quality profile what is the quality profile of the product which we are being producing so now f7 for production product counter let's check out i press the f7 and now we will get what is the lot number per mold counting per mold total counting real how much pack and counting real how much the product has been counted over the machine so all these things we are going to learn from here so guys follow us subscribe us so that you can get each and every setting all about injection molding machine thank you and have a great day enjoy the day this is a single option last option that i'm going to tell you is all about saving the mold later on i will uh, at a single video i will show you how this mold is being saved inside your uh, machine I will tell you with the complete video of mold saving so guys don't worry just subscribe our channel and follow us on the plastotech english thank you and have a great day